Hi, in this video, I want to show you how you can quickly make a drawing app for Vision OS using PencilKit. Using the Apple's PencilKit framework, we can make a drawing app for iOS, Mac OS, and Vision OS that supports finger drawing. On iOS, you can also draw with Apple Pencil. So in this app, you can see we have all these drawing tools with different strokes. We display the different type of drawing tools using ornaments. So on the left, we have the modification tools. For example, the eraser. We can use it to erase whatever we draw on the canvas. We have undo and redo. Then we can clear everything on the canvas. On the right side of the canvas, we have another ornament displaying a ruler and a button for picking pencil types. On the top part of the window, we have the collaboration tools. So we can screen record. This is not implemented yet. We can screen share, make a video call, and collaborate with other people via chat messaging. We will not implement these buttons in this video. Using the Apple Pencil Kit framework, you can make an app similar to the Apple Freeform drawing. This is a tool available on macOS and iOS. So you can see here, it has the same concept. We have the collaboration tools on the top and the drawing canvas. So once you use this framework, you can make an app similar to the Freeform drawing. On iOS and macOS. If you want to learn more about PencilKit, you can check the Apple documentation. You can grab the source code of this video from GitHub. You can see here I have it as VisionOS Window Drawing View. Swift. As I said before, we are not going to implement each of the buttons on the drawing canvas. So you can grab the code from here, remove whatever you don't need, or extend it to how you want it to behave. If you want an iOS version, I made a video tutorial. So you can search for Pencil Kit and Swift UI, build a collaborative drawing app. In this particular tutorial, you will find out how the messaging and the video calling part works by doing the integration with stream chat and video. I will add a link to the description of this video. There is also an article version of the Vision OS drawing app. You can check this on the stream website. Or if you want to read about the iOS version, you can also check this article. So let's go back to Xcode and start making our simple drawing app for Vision OS. To keep everything simple in this video, we're going to do all the implementation in a single file. So you can see I have created freeform drawing view. To add PencilKit support for a SwiftUI app, we need to import it. You can see in our body computer property, we have a navigation stack. Then in the freeform drawing view struct, we have a function to save whatever we draw on the canvas. The pencil kit framework does not support SwiftUI by default. So here we create a drawing view struct and make it conform to UI view representable so that we can use the UI kit implementation in our SwiftUI view. We have a function to make a drawing view. Let's remove this comment. Our make UI view function conforms to PK canvas view. PK canvas view allows you to take drawing input from the user's finger or when using Apple Pencil. Then we have another function, update UI view. This function will watch the drawing tools for changes. Anytime a user picks different type of drawing tool, we call this function so that it updates the changes. In the freeform drawing view struct, let's define the following properties. We have canvas. This variable will be used to get drawing input from the user's finger or when using Apple Pencil if you have an iOS project. In the simulated Vision OS device, we can use the interact tool to draw on the window. Then we have another variable that determines whether the user is drawing or not. We have color, the initial pencil type. Then we have color picker and another variable to undo changes. All these properties are for the collaboration part. We are not going to implement them, but you can check the other links I showed in the beginning of this video. If you want to implement messaging or video calling on the drawing canvas, I will add all the links in the description of this video. If I scroll down, you can see we have a drawing view struct here. So in our navigation stack, let's create an instance of the drawing view that takes the properties we defined here. Whenever a user draws on the canvas, we want to use this function to save it to the photos library. So over here, what we need to do is to get the drawing from the drawing canvas as an image then we save it to the photos library. In the drawing view struct, let's define the following binding properties. 
These are the binding properties for the state variables we defined earlier. Let's define a computed property here that will be used to update the pencil tools. So once you pick a different type of drawing, we use this property to update the pencil type. Next, we need an eraser tool. That should be PK eraser tool. And the type we want is bitmap. In our make UI view function, let's define the following. Over here, we need to specify the drawing policy using our canvas property. Setting the drawing policy to any input will allow you to take drawing input from the finger and apple pencil. So let's see what is available. If I put a period here, you can see we have any input. That is what I just explained. We have default. And if you want to draw with apple pencil only, you can choose this option. So let's use any input. Next, whenever a user is drawing, we call the is drawing state variable. Then we pick the pencil type when the user is drawing. Otherwise, we set the is drawing state variable to the eraser tool. Then here we specify whether we want to add a ruler to the drawing canvas or not. This works on iOS, but it does not work on Vision OS. I'll check it later how to make it work on Vision OS. Then we can set the background of the drawing canvas as I have done here. Next, you can specify whether you want the drawing canvas to scroll or not. When the user begins drawing, we set the visibility to true and make the canvas become the first responder. Then in the update UI view function, we need to update the tool whenever the main view changes. So let's copy this line and paste it here. Then we change the canvas to UI view. So this is all about the pencil kit implementation. Now we have to add the UI. For the UI, we are going to use Vision OS ornaments. Using ornaments, you can place related content as attachment to the window as illustrated here. To learn more, you can check the Apple documentation. So let's go back to our Xcode project. Let's begin with the top ornament that appears at the top part of the window. So we are going to add it to the drawing view in the navigation stack. So let's add them here. So we have all these buttons as they appear on top part of the window. Let's press Option, Command and left arrow to fold the code we just added. Next, we will add a leading ornament that is the modification tools. So you can see we have the scissor tool, a backward arrow that is used for undo, then a forward arrow for redo and the eraser tool. I will fold the code as well by pressing Option, Command and left arrow. You can see from the top and the leading ornament, we added the ornament modifier and specified the attachment anchor. So for the top, we specify the scene as top. For the leading one, we specify the scene as leading. If you don't want to use the ornament modifier, we can place the buttons in the toolbar. That is what we will do here. So let's add the toolbar modifier. Then we specify toolbar item group and set the placement to bottom ornament instead of using the ornament modifier. That gives you the same ornament as using the ornament modifier. So you can see from the bottom ornament, we have the glass background effect. Let's fold it as well by pressing Option, Command and left arrow. The last one is the trailing ornament. For that, we use the ornament modifier as well instead of specifying the buttons in the toolbar. So for the drawing tools, we set the is drawing property to true. Then we specify the pencil type. We have different type of pencils. So this is the one on the left. We specify the pencil input as pencil. For all the buttons, we specify the is drawing property to true. Then we specify the drawing type. So if I remove this and put a period, these are all the drawing types we have. We have crayon, fountain, marker, monoline, pen, pencil, and watercolor. So these are all the drawing types we have on the bottom ornament. I will press Command and Z to undo the change. To implement the modification tools, we do the opposite. So let's scroll up and see what we have to do. So to clear the canvas, we use PK drawing. And then here you can see we have undo and redo. For each of the drawing tools, we set the is drawing property to true. So here you can see for the eraser tool, we set the is drawing property to false so that we can erase whatever we draw on the canvas. So the implementation for the drawing menu is the same 
we have all the drawing tools. They function in the same way as those we have on the bottom ornament. So for example, we can choose a different color. And that is also defined here. So this is how to make a basic drawing app for Vision OS. You can grab the code from GitHub. I have a link in the description of the video. Then you can extend it to whatever you want or remove whatever you don't want. Thanks for watching this video.